already know just where I be, dog. I ain't being cocky, but Philly, what I'm reppin', watch me check it like it's hockey. I ain't tryna get it twisted. If you get it, then you got me. If you with it, cool. If not, I'll treat you like a Tamagotchi. I'ma let you down point. Yeah, I never get so What's going on guys, Jay Hoyt back with you today. Today's video is going to be kind of an interesting one because I wanted to talk about the current Call of Duty meta. But first, I want to explain to you guys what's going on in this gameplay. So I'm playing some public match, hard point, and this was my first game of the day. And I know I played a quick, you know, warm up five minutes with bots just to get my hands warm a little bit. However, once I got into the game, I kind of went on a bit of a tear. And I start out 24 and 2. And I get lots of streaks in this gameplay, so, you know, that's good. I don't know where this game came from because I was not expecting this. But, uh, you know what, I didn't get the greatest players on the other team. However, they did make a little bit of a comeback in the end, but we're going to end up winning on that one. But either way, let's get right into the video. So like I said earlier, I wanted to talk about the current Call of Duty meta and what I think should be the meta. And it's not far off, to be honest. I will give it that. It's not far off. However, right now, if you guys don't follow competitive, you know, either you probably should because I'm going to talk a lot about competitive Call of Duty in this. But if you guys don't know the meta, currently it is the PPSH, which is the main submachine gun, which I'm using in the video. Then you have the BAR, which is a, a good assault rifle. Then you have the STG, which is another assault rifle. Then you have the FG, which is another assault rifle. And then you have the sniper being the car 98. So you have one submachine gun, three ARs, and one sniper. Which, all around, isn't terrible. Like, I do like the fact that there is more than just, you know, one sub, one AR, and a sniper. Like, I'm glad it's more than that. But I'm going to relate a lot of things back to Black Ops 2 somewhat, but also not because I was not around in the competitive days in Black Ops 2. Like, I was playing Call of Duty, but I was not... I had no clue what MLG was or what, you know, competitive Call of Duty was. So, keep that in mind. So, I'm just going by what I know now, you know, relating back to it. So, in this game, like I said, there's one sub, three ARs, one sniper. The PPSH is a good gun, you know, all-around submachine gun. However, the only thing I would like to see is if there was a fast-firing submachine gun for only select hills in hardpoint now if you guys know what the m1928 is that is the fast firing submachine gun i'm talking about now i don't know if with the last patch if it got nerfed or not but for a while it was viable in competitive but it's just so fast paced that it's you can have no range with it so you have no chance at you know long range unless he's Unless the person's like absolutely one shot. And I'm going to relate to St. Marie Dumont, the map in World War II. Probably one of the main hardpoint maps. And if you guys know the hardpoint rotations on that map, the first hill on that map is kind of the main reasons I wanted to include it in this list. And first of all, I just want to say I do not like that hill on St. Marie. Mainly because it's basically all just a pre-fire fest, you know, a nade fest, and just spam fest. Now, although I don't really know where else you'd put a hill on that map, I still hate that hill. And I guess if you like that type of gameplay, then, you know, that's a perfect hill. But like I said, the fast firing submachine gun should be perfect for that hill and no similar hills like that. However, with this constant spam fest of, you know, spamming through walls, you know, pre-firing walls and just everything else that happens to that hill... That gun isn't really viable because you have to pre-fire everything, basically. And if you don't, you're just going to die every single time. So, at this last Call of Duty event, Call of Duty uh, New Orleans, or CWL New Orleans, you know, Team Caliber ended up winning it, so congrats to them. Obviously, Optic did not win, did not, very, did not play very well after pool play, which kind of sucked because that was really disappointing. But, either way, on that hill, all they did was just basically flood the hill... And just pre-fire everything. Now, is that the right way of playing? I don't really know. But that's not how I would like to see a competitive hardpoint. Mainly because I want to see good gameplay. I want to see people out-position each other, out-shoot each other. I don't want to see pre-fire this doorway for a solid 30 seconds. And then once you're ha like pretty much out of bullets, have someone else come in and pre-fire the same doorway. And, you know, just keep trading kills. Now... 
if it if the walls were a little bit you know thicker I'll call them or the bullets didn't do nearly as much damage as they do then that gun becomes a little bit more viable and it's and it would be more entertaining to watch and the PPSH even though that's a good submachine gun it would be kind of nice to see you know another submachine gun on various times and situations like that those smaller hills and when you're trying to push something and you're trying to gun someone from medium range you know that gun shouldn't be viable or you'd have to hit you know a solid like five six bullets and the other guy only has to hit like four because that gun you know whatever balancing but it would be nice to see a couple of submachine guns if not then just stick with the ppsh and you know, that's pretty good all-around gun you know i have nothing wrong with that gun so let's move on to ars right now like i said there's basically three ars in the game there's the bar which you know i'm i'm not the best with but it's still a good obviously good assault rifle you have the stg which was in the beta which i definitely use probably the most out of any gun and then you have the fg which has been nerfed and nerfed a lot of times and it's somehow still viable and let's go over you know the certain guns here so the bar basically good from any range you know the recoil at long range could get into trouble but if you had headshots you know you're pretty pretty solid there the stg is more of like an all-around gun you know kind of a running gun like more of an aggressive ar as well as you know the bar is kind of more of like a sit back semi-aggressive kind of gun and the fg is basically just like a turret just stand back there on a head glitch and just watch a lane and basically it so you have three different assault rifles kind of two different play styles to benefit both of those guns you know like i said the fg was been nerfed like probably like three times by now the bar started out really really good then they nerfed it and then the fg kind of took over that then they nerfed the fg now the bar is back and then kind of the stg made an appearance in competitive play so I guess I don't really have a problem with the ARs. I would like to see more of like a, you know, Infinite Warfare 2 AR style. But obviously, you know, there's nothing really wrong with more weapon variety because, you know, hey, if someone's really good with a certain gun, then, you know, you might see that gun more than the others, even if the other gun's better. So, those guns are, have their perfect kind of balance there of, you know, how they play and how they're used. And then, Kind of the sniper has always been a thing bolt action I, again nothing really should be changed there as long as it's a bolt action sniper rifle you know have people to spring through walls with semi-autos then you know i don't have a problem with that all around guys you know a couple tweaks to the meta i'd like to see you know i made a video about the things that should be taken out of competitive if you haven't seen it make sure you go watch it you know if they got rid of you know those things i think this game this game's meta would be very very close to perfect you know i'm glad there's not any burst weapons because those can get pretty crazy at times but you know what this game the way it plays and the way it is is very very interesting especially from a competitive standpoint you know with the divisions and basic trainings i still do prefer the perk system you know let's get a little bit into that because we still got a little bit more time here now world war ii is the first ever thing we saw with these divisions and basic trainings and it, we spent so well i did not we me like included but people have developed that perk system over how many years you know it's always been perks 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 now whether it was in you know black ops one whether it was there was only like five per thing or if it was you know ghosts where there was everything to imagine you know it was a little bit of a variation on perks but if you look at like black ops 2 perks you know you had lightweight you had flak jacket you had fast hands you had there was some other perk too and then there was a third one that was dead silence and i believe it was dexterity which were kind of the perfect balance of perks and going to black ops 2 competitive you know that game is arguably the best competitive call of duty to ever be made do i agree with that i don't know because i didn't really watch competitive in black ops 2 i started watching in ghosts so obviously my opinion is gonna be a little bit different but if i if i had to say from uh you know outsider looking in from what i did see of black ops 2 competitive then 
you know, probably is number one as far as competitive goes. And if not, then I don't really know where the gun you, or what other game you'd choose because you had Ghost, which people argued was terrible. So if if that if that game, you know, the kill, uh, the, the, what do I want to say? The the amount of bullets it takes to kill someone. If that was changed by like one bullet or one or two bullets, you know, I'd probably say that had to be the most competitive game. And also, that was the first game to not have hard point. Oh no, Black Ops 2 invented hard point, didn't it? I don't remember. But Domination was really fun to watch, you know, in Ghost. Blitz was super fun, especially being an objective player back then. You know, all you have to do is like OE, you know, Dead Silence or whatever the case is. And it'd be super simple to run through the map. And then what was the other game mode? Search and Destroy, obviously, is always going to be the staple in competitive Call of Duty. You're never going to change that. I'm glad Farpoint's back. I'd still rather something a little bit more entertaining than CTF. But I understand why it's in the meta. So, I think I'm going to wrap it up, guys. If you have enjoyed, hit that like button down below. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. As always, guys, we'll see you next time.